Hello and welcome back to another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I'm Eric. I did 11 years in prison and I talk about prison stuff. Today we're doing part two on my video about prison wine, aka hooch. It has been four days since I initially started out with part one. I wanted to do it after three days because that's kind of the shortest time frame that you can really see any alcohol in the hooch. However, my daughter was throwing a fit most of the day yesterday, and as a dad, that's my job to do something about that. So that's what I was doing. But today, the kids are happy, I'm happy, and there's a bottle of homemade booze here that I want to share with you guys. So we'll do that. So let's pour a glass of it and see how it looks, see how it tastes, and go from there. So just looking at it, um, it's very cloudy. It, it just looks like uh, orange juice or Sunny Delight or something like that with some weird fizz on the top. And that's pretty typical of prison hooch, wine, whatever. In fact, a lot of times it looks a lot worse than that. A lot of times it doesn't have the color that that has to it. It just looks like old dirty dish water or something like that. It looks pretty nasty. This isn't too bad. There's no nasty stuff floating in the top of it. It's got a little bit of fizz, but that's it. And that's because the yeast is still doing its job. I don't know what the alcohol content on this is going to be. I don't really have a way of measuring it aside from my taste buds. But it hasn't been as warm as I anticipated. Usually you want it to be nice and warm for your for your booze to cook but it hasn't been very warm for the past few days. It's been rainy here in Kansas. But uh, I'll give it a taste, and we'll, we'll see how we did. So... It's very sweet. It doesn't have a bad taste. It's it's very sweet. And it has a little bit of tartness to it, but not in an unpleasant way. You can taste the apples in there, the apple juice, which is kind of nice. And uh, the alcohol content, if I had to guess, I would say it's around... 3.5 maybe 4 percent if I had to guess because it tastes kind of like a, a wine cooler that's really what it tastes like like a honey apple wine cooler that's that's the vibe that I'm getting from it now what I can do I can let this continue to cook a little bit. I can wait a few more days, maybe a week, and then bottle it up and let some of the, I don't know what you would call it. Um, there's actually a, a special word for it. I can't remember it at the moment. But basically there's particulates that are floating around in there from the yeast and whatnot. And so I can wait another week or two for some of that to start to settle out and then I can decant it and I'll be left with a very clear wine basically. I wouldn't do that in prison. In prison this would be ready to go. This has enough alcohol in it to get you going. If it were a little bit hotter it would have been better. In prison you would run into the same issue. If you decided to make hooch on a week that it's cool, you're not going to have a very big alcohol yield, I guess I'll call it. But 
this isn't bad for what it is. Um, in prison, you could sell that pretty easily, or you could drink it, whatever. But, yeah, that's decent. The recipe for this, so you guys know, is four gallons of 100% apple juice. No preservatives, nothing added, just 100% pure apple juice. Five pounds of clover honey and a teaspoon or a packet, I should say, of instant baker's yeast or bread yeast, however you want to say it. And I waited four days, and that's that's what we got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of thing. This is kind of an easy one for me to do because it doesn't require a bunch of recollection and, and stuff like that. Before I go, I would like to say thank you for watching to everyone who's watching this. And I would also like to encourage you to maintain a positive mindset. We live in a very crazy world. We live in crazy times, and it can be really frustrating. It can get us down. I know a lot of people that get depressed and angry and upset about what's going on in the world, and that is completely understandable. But to bring it back, we can't control the world around us, and we don't have to like the world around us. What matters is what we do with what we're given. If you have the ability to make your family's life a little bit better today, why not do it? If you have the opportunity to smile at someone today and compliment them about something, make them feel a little bit better, or encourage them to do something better for themselves, why not do it? If you have the opportunity to do something better for yourself today, why not do it? It doesn't take much to help people. It really doesn't. Sometimes all it takes is a smile, a handshake, telling someone that you care about them, and you can change their whole day, their whole week, their whole month. So I hope you have the opportunity to do that today. And if you see that opportunity, take it. Because, you know, we might not always be here. In addition, before I go, I would like to let you guys know that I have some great content coming up. You guys seem to like the uh, the Prison Legends thing, and I have another one of those in the works. It's going to be a little bit longer, and it's going to take me a little longer to put it together because it's more detailed, and I know this guy a lot better, and he's terrifying. And that's coming up. It's probably going to be next week before it's out, but it is in the works. I am also going to do a Q&A, I think, pretty soon. I've been getting a lot of comments where people are asking me questions about going to prison for the first time and asking me for tips for people who are on their way to prison and stuff like that. This is something that I've addressed before, but I want to address it again because you guys asked for it, and I always want to help out where I can. That might be out later this week. However, I'm not exactly sure if it will be because I'm trying to schedule stuff. I'm trying to have at least one video up per week before I do a bunch of extra content. Usually I try to make about three videos a week when I'm making content. However, I'm also putting content up on Patreon now and I'm going to be dropping a link for that pretty soon on some of my videos. So I have a lot of stuff going on, but you know, just make sure you keep an eye on the channel because there will be more stuff coming. Anyway, I'm Eric. This has been another episode of From Prison to the Streets. I will see you all later. Right. Right. Hey,